If I asked you what you loved, answers would likely roll off your tongue. You love to read, you love to write, you love your dog, your cat, your brother, your sister, your father, your mother. But how long would that list go on and on before you said, I love myself? Hi everyone, my name is Cindy Che, and this week I'm my own Woman Crush Wednesday. You can insert all your sarcastic comments and thoughts and super witty remarks about how I'm a freak or like I'm weird or er egotistical or arrogant. But the reason I'm saying this to you now is because I don't care. I am my own Woman Crush Wednesday because I fought to become the person that I am. I am my own Woman Crush Wednesday because unlike a lot of people in this world, I take the struggles that are thrown at me, I take those obstacles, and I create them into opportunities. I am my own Woman Crush Wednesday because I am a product of the struggles I have overcome. You know, lately I've been a little iffy about this YouTube channel. Mostly because I understand that it's weird. Like I'm literally sitting in my apartment talking to a camera attached to a selfie stick. I guess you could say my life is pretty exciting. After a lot of criticism that I face, I've decided that I really just do not care anymore. I grew up caring so much about what other people thought, especially of me. So much that I let mean girls tell me how I should dress, how I should wear my hair, what I should look like. I let other people define my self-worth. I let other people tell me the way I should feel about myself, and I let them seriously impact my confidence. I'm a firm believer that no one can make you feel like you're not worthy. No one can make you feel like you suck. No one can take away your confidence. You do that to yourself. But I, of all people, do realize that that's something that happens from the people around you. I spent so much time listening to everyone else and trying so desperately hard to fit in. But what I've come to realize in life is that an extraordinary person living in an ordinary world doesn't fit in. That doesn't mean I'm weird or that I don't belong here. It means that I stand out, and that's not a bad thing. I'm tired of having to introduce myself to people. And I promise you that one day people are going to know my name. They're going to see me walking down these streets, and they're going to know me. I don't know what for, but I hope it's for something good. I hope it's because I've impacted their life in a way that made them realize that there were good people in this world. Because even after all this crap that goes on, even after I see women beating down other women and taking away their confidence, even when I see people in the news getting killed and shot and robbed and all these horrible and tragic things, I'm that person that still believes that people are inherently good. I'm that person that still tries really hard to find that silver lining in dark clouds. But it doesn't mean it's not hard for me. When I hear that people are talking badly about what I'm trying to do, I'm going to get upset. I know what I deserve and harsh treatment from other people for trying to make this world a better place is not part of it. But anyways, I'm my own woman crush Wednesday because I've struggled my entire life with accepting who I am. I've struggled my entire life with looking in the mirror and wanting to cry at what I saw. I've, I am not defined by the way that I look, but in fact that is just something that adds on to who I am. I am kind. I am amiable. I am sincere. I don't hide what I feel and sometimes I'm way too blunt. I'm literally crazy. I act irrationally. I can get angry really easily and sometimes I get jealous. I cry like on demand like as soon as someone says something to me whether it's happy or sad or it doesn't make sense like there's a good chance I'm gonna cry and I'm annoying like I don't ever stop talking and 
when I get nervous, I do this weird laugh and I like scratch my arm and I just like make uncomfortable situations more uncomfortable. But I don't love myself despite that. I love myself because of that. Because I'm me and I'm not afraid to be that anymore. Sure, I have qualities of me that I need to work on. I need to learn the difference between being brutally honest and just being a blunt dick. Like, because sometimes I'm really, really rude to people and I really don't mean it. But, like, I have a very horrible tendency of saying the first thing that comes to my mind. And that is something I need to work on, but I still love myself for who I am. You think that sometimes you don't fit in because you live in this world and you're imperfect. But all of us are like that. Like, not one person on this earth is perfect. So, isn't it true that an imperfect person living in, imper living in an imperfect world is perfect for this world because that's what I think I think that the fact that we all have flaws the fact that none of us are perfect the fact that none of us are a thousand times better than another person is what makes us perfect for the place that we are in seriously guys like I don't know where this whole trend of like self-deprecation became super cool but the whole point of my YouTube channel, the whole point of my blogs, the whole point of my Instagram is to diminish that standard. I no longer want to live in a world where people not just are self-deprecating, but depreciating others. Like, I'm so sick of hearing constant criticism of people who are trying to do good things. Because the truth of the matter is people are intimidated by the people who are so comfortable with themselves that they're willing to speak out against the norm. People like to be comfortable. Ordinary people like to be comfortable. They're going to sit in the same spot in life and they're going to abide by the rules of society. And when someone comes along and tries to mess that up for them, they feel uncomfortable, they feel intimidated, and they get angry. Do not let that stop you from loving who you are. Because one day, they're going to wish that they did. I'm going to play nice with everybody until you disrespect me. You have the audacity to only say it behind my back. And you don't have the courage to come to my face and tell me what you have wrong with me. And so many people are going to watch this and be like, oh my god, I can't believe she's talking shit about me right now. But you know what? This is a generalization. But if the shoe fits, you better learn to wear it. Because you are exactly the kind of person that I talk about in my videos. The person who is so uncomfortable with who they are and that they need, that they feel this inclination to tear down the people that love who they are. You're afraid of the people that challenge this society. You're nervous that me doing what I'm doing is going to make you look bad. But just so you know, that's all in your head. I don't do anything to make someone look bad because that goes against everything I believe in. I do things to make myself look bad good and feel good in a sincere and honest way and I do things to show other women to show other people whoever's watching to do the same so you can disagree with me you can make fun of me but take a second to inflect take a second to look within yourself and tell me if you're not this kind of person it, don't expect me to associate with you anymore don't expect me to go out of my way don't expect me to reach out to you Unless I think that the only way you're going to be okay is if I come to you. Don't expect me to do anything for you anymore if you're the kind of person that's trying to break me down. Because I don't care anymore about pleasing anyone. I don't care anymore about making you like me. I've spent 20 years learning how to love myself. And I don't have that kind of time to convince anyone else or to teach anyone else how to love me too. So if you have a problem with me, then either say it or get over it. Because either way, it's not going to change who I am unless I am severely hurting you. If you don't like what I have to say, the greatest thing about YouTube is you don't have to watch it. You don't have to listen to it. If the only thing that you have to criticize me on is me trying to help make this world a better place, me trying to use my struggles and my journey to help other people out there who are trying to overcome the same things, then I'm okay with that. 
I am my own woman crush Wednesday because I take everything that you say and I turn it into fuel. I am my own woman crush Wednesday because once upon a time, I'd let all of this break me. I'd let all of the criticisms stop me and tear me down, but not anymore. Now it's like you're throwing me a bunch of mountains as obstacles. And I got news for you. I like the view from the top.